Hello everybody, it's Dr. Amar Romanovic from German Heart Center here in Dubai. Today I'm going to talk about diabetes part 2 of this topic. Uh, we are going to talk about complications, prevention and uh, treatment of diabetes. Complications. Type 2 diabetes affects many major organs, including your heart, blood vessels, nerves, eyes and kidneys. Potential complications of diabetes and frequent comorbidities include heart and blood vessel disease. Diabetes is associated with an increased risk of heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure and narrowing of blood vessel. Nerve damage in limbs, neuropathy, high blood sugar over time can damage or destroy nerves, resulting in tingling, numbness, burning, pain or eventual loss of feeling that usually begins at the tips of the toes or fingers and gradually spreads upward. Other nerve damage of the heart can contribute to irregular heart rhythms. Nerve damage in the digestive system can cause problem, problems with nausea, vomiting, diarrhea or constipation. For men, nerve damage may cause erectile dysfunction. Kidney disease, diabetes may lead to chronic kidney disease or irreversible end-stage kidney disease which may require dialysis or a kidney transplant. Eye damage. Diabetes increases the risk of serious eye diseases such as cataracts and glaucoma and may damage the blood vessels of the retina, potentially leading to the blindness. Skin conditions. Diabetes may leave you more susceptible to skin problems including bacterial or and fungal infections, slow healing, left untreated cuts and blisters can become serious infections which may heal poorly, server damage might require toe, foot or leg amputation. Hearing impairment, hearing problems are more common in people with diabetes. Sleep apnea, obstructive sleep apnea is common in people living with type 2 diabetes. Obesity may be the main contributing factor to both conditions. It is not clear whether treating sleep apnea improves blood sugar control. Dementia. Type 2 diabetes seems to increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease and other disorders that uh, cause dementia. Poor control of blood sugar levels is linked to more rapid decline in memory and other thinking skills. Who should be tested for prediabetes and diabetes? If you are over age 45, overweight younger than 45 and have one or more additional risk factors such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, a family history of diabetes, have a history of gestational diabetes, diabetes during pregnancy or delivering a baby more than 4, four kg. If your blood glucose levels are, are normal, you should be tested about every 3 years and if you have pre-diabetes, you should be checked for diabetes every 1 to 2 years after that diagnosis. How do I know if I have type 2 diabetes? Blood sugar values are expressed in milligrams of sugar per deciliter or millimoles of sugar per liter of blood. To find out if you have type 2 diabetes, your doctor or nurse can do a blood test. There are two tests that can be used for this. Both involve measuring the amount, the amount of sugar in your blood called your blood sugar or blood glucose. Fasting, fasting plasma glucose, glucose test measures your blood sugar at the time the blood sample is taken. This test is done the morning. In the morning, you can't eat or drink anything except water for at least eight hours before the test. And the other test shows uh, what your average blood sugar has been for the past two to three months. This blood test is called hemoglobin A1c or just A1c. It can be checked at any time of the day, even if you have recently eaten. Fasting plasma glucose test results uh, are interpreted as follows. Less than 5.6 millimole per liter is normal. 5.6 to 6.9 is diagnosed as pre-diabetes and 7 or higher on two separate tests are 
is diagnosed as diabetes. Hemoglobin A1c and A1c of 5.7% to 6.4% means that you have prediabetes and you are at high risk for developing diabetes. Diabetes is diagnosed when the A1c is 6.5% or higher. Random blood sugar tests, regardless of when you last ate, a level of 200 mg per deciliter or 11.1 mm per liter or higher suggests diabetes, especially if you also have signs and symptoms of diabetes. How is type 2 diabetes treated? The goals of treatment are to control your blood sugar and lower the risk of the future problems that can happen in people with diabetes. An important part of managing diabetes is to eat healthy food and get plenty and physical activity. There are few medicines that help control blood sugar. Some people need to take pills that help the body make more insulin or that help insulin to do its job. Others need, need insulin. Can type 2 diabetes be prevented? Yes, simply lifestyle measures have been shown to be effective in preventing or delaying the onset of type 2 diabetes. To help prevent type 2 diabetes and its complications, people should achieve and maintain a healthy body weight, be physically active, doing at least 30 minutes of regular moderate intensity activity or on most days, more activity is required for weight control, eat a healthy diet, avoiding sugar and saturated fats, and avoid tobacco use, smoking increases the risk of diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Thank you so much for listening, please help me Tell others about this channel by reviewing, rating or subscribing and please share it on your social media. Enough for now. Have a lovely day. Speak to you again soon. Goodbye.